My family moved to Canada 15 years ago and this video is about my personal and professional journey with a lot of insights for those of you who are thinking of moving to Toronto and looking for uh, a thoughtful guidance throughout the process. So, my name is Olena and uh, I am a real estate broker with Sotheby's International Realty in Toronto and my work is to help families find their homes in the safe neighborhoods within the best uh, public school districts or close to the most prestigious private schools. If you are interested in learning more, I invite you to support my channel. Your likes, comments and subscription mean the world to me and help others find this content. Let's get started. Today's video is inspired by my recent interview with Stories, Canada's premier real estate news source. You can find the full interview uh, in the Meet the Agent section on their platform. The link is right below this video. Whether you are a current client uh, looking to know me better or uh, someone considering reaching out, I believe my story will resonate with you and provide insights tailored to your unique situation. So the first question in the interview was, where did I grow up? I am originally from Ukraine, where uh, my husband and I met in university. Together we started a family business and worked hard to grow it. It was uh, extremely busy and exciting time for us, especially as we both pursued our second degrees in law and also welcomed our two elder sons. About 15 years ago, we saw an opportunity to move to Canada. Our visit to Toronto was more than just uh, like a trip. It was a quest to understand the city's lifestyle, educational opportunities and potential for our family's future. Our primary goal was to provide our children with a world-class education right here without the need uh, for them to leave home at a younger age. Now, looking back, it's clear we made the right choice. Our youngest uh, daughter is at Havergal College, our oldest graduated from Western Ivy Business School, and our middle child is studying engineering at Toronto Metropolitan University. We are very happy uh, with how things have turned out and grateful for the wonderful people we have met here in Toronto. The second question from Stories was, uh, what neighborhood do you live in now? Currently, my family and I live in Hawks Hollow, a beautiful part of Midtown Toronto. When we first came to Canada, we didn't choose Hawks Hollow right away. Like many newcomers, uh, we initially thought that settling in a community with people who shared our language and traditions would be the best choice. However, over the years, we've learned something important. It's not always the best approach. It took us only six months to realize that, so we sold our first house and moved uh, to Midtown. For those of you considering a move, I'd like to offer some advice. Don't just look for a place where you'll find familiar backgrounds. Instead, think about what aligns with your goals and aspirations. For example, if providing a top quality education for your kids is your priority, Toronto, with its diverse and inclusive environment, is a great choice. Here, you won't feel uh, like an outsider. The key is to communicate and be open to new connections. Of course, there are times when living outside of Toronto or in a specific community makes sense. In that case, uh, it's crucial to pick the right area that matches your needs. In any case, consulting with a realtor like me can help uh, you clarify and achieve your objectives, ensuring uh, you make a decision that truly reflects what you want for your future. The third question stories asked me what made me want to become a real estate agent. Back in Ukraine, I was involved in uh, real estate in various roles as an agent, landlord, um, seller, buyer, and even as a tenant. So transitioning into this field here in Canada felt like a natural step for me. Over the years, I've worked with many local sellers and buyers, but just recently, I have expanded my services to include clients who are relocating. The shift happened uh, when I noticed a gap in the market. Despite the many realtors in Toronto, there seemed to be a lack of dedicated professionals who could provide comprehensive support in choosing neighborhoods, understanding schooling options, considering lifestyle needs, and assisting with community integration during the relocation process. Uh, 
Based uh, on my own successful relocation experience, I wanted to help others navigate this significant life change. Uh, that's why I started my YouTube channel focused on living in Toronto and navigating its real estate market. My aim is to offer insights that empower clients, helping them avoid common pitfalls and make their relocation journey more predictable and less stressful. I take great pride in having helped numerous families successfully settle uh, in Toronto, uh, guiding them through the intricacies of selling, buying and transitioning into life in this vibrant city. The first question from Stories was, uh, what's the biggest challenge you see facing the market today? Affordability in Toronto will be a common response to this question. However, the biggest challenge now is uncertainty and fear. With headlines often referring to a market downturn, it's natural to feel apprehensive. In this context, I suggest surrounding yourself with professionals who prioritize numbers and facts over emotions uh, or a desire to get your business today. Take advice, make your own decisions, be realistic and be calm. The fifth question from Stories was, what's the best advice you have for sellers? Sellers should be more selective when hiring agents. When selling your property, it's essential to choose the right agent, ask insightful questions, carefully evaluate the strategies and services offered by your realtor and also explore different options. Don't hesitate to interview a few more agents. You might be surprised how different their performances are. Marketing and promoting your listing is the name of the game in this market. So don't agree to uh, a mediocre old school and uh, limited plan of action. And one more, remember, always be proud of being a homeowner. The sixth question from Stories was, what's the best advice you have for buyers? I wish buyers prioritize practical purchase versus emotional. I have developed a triangle method of buying a home in Toronto, which helps my clients see the real value of any property. So, choose an agent who relates to your life situation. Do not be shy to ask your agent a few personal questions. For example, where his or her home is. If you are an investor, um, ask your realtor how successful his or her own investments are. Make sure your agent lives in the area and understands it. This formula ensures your realtor understands your uh, needs and also your home uh, will be a successful choice. The seventh question from Stories, uh, what's the best thing a realtor can invest in for their brand? I advocate for a narrow specialization such as catering to a specific demographics, for example, first time home buyers or downsizers or else, or developing an in-depth knowledge of a particular geographical area. Generalists often lack expertise. Uh, therefore, we often observe genuine professionals who have refined their brand within a specific niche only, providing excellence and success to their clients. The eighth question from Stories was, who do you look up to uh, in the industry and why? In the world of real estate, I look up to Nikki Field from Sotheby's International Realty in New York. She is a strong realtor and a team leader with an incredibly wise approach to the business. I consider her uh, observations as valuable guidance as they are frequently at least one step ahead of the entire industry. The ninth question stories ask me, is there anything you wish people knew or understood about realtors that you think they are constantly getting wrong? One thing I really wish people understood about realtors is that our role extends far beyond just selling properties. There's a common misconception that realtors are primarily salespeople. However, in reality, we wear so many hats. We are information providers, negotiators, uh, financial and market analysts, and often trusted confidence to our clients. The work we do in real estate is complex and it's not just uh, about making sales. In my own professional journey, I found myself assisting clients with various needs that go well beyond the typical scope of real estate. For example, uh, based on my experience as a long-term private school parent, I've helped my clients with application for private schools. I've also assisted in home building and renovation projects by connecting my clients with reliable contractors. 
Essentially, my clients benefit from my extensive network of professionals across various fields. This comprehensive approach is uh, what truly defines the work of a realtor. As the 10th question, stories asked me to tell uh, about my favorite or most memorable sale. I have had the privilege of uh, experiencing some remarkable sales, but what truly stands out in all this is the exceptional individuals, clients that I worked with. One of the memorable moments uh, was representing a family that was relocating to Toronto and was looking to buy a home close to the top private schools. This family, who I never met before, discovered me through my YouTube channel and placed their trust in my expertise from afar. They ended up buying a $6 million home in Midtown Toronto, which made us neighbors and later friends. As the 11th question, stories asked me to give three words I hope my clients use to describe me. To answer this question, I searched my business profile in the client review section on Google. It revealed that according to Google's analysis, the most commonly used uh, word by my client when they write reviews about my business are professional, responsive, and knowledgeable. Sometimes in person, I hear that I'm very patient. And the 12th question stories ask me what's my favorite thing to do outside of selling houses. Outside of business, my husband and I find immense fulfillment in witnessing our children's growth. As parents, there's nothing more rewarding than uh, watching them evolve into remarkable individuals. By all means, it's our most cherished and fulfilling life achievement. It has never been easy as our move to Canada and establishing here required a lot of attention. Our children managed to change a lot of schools, Catholic, public, private, and then universities. This gave us a clear understanding of Canadian educational system and extracurricular options. I'm always keen to share this wealth of experience and knowledge with others, not just finding the perfect home in Toronto, but also in helping families uh, settle into the new life here. I'm looking forward to the opportunity to work with you and your family, assisting you in every step of your journey.